Okay, so I'm making this video about the unboxing of our SD501 Platinum that we just ordered. This is actually our third Enagic machine. We bought an SD501 Platinum in January of 2015, and then we bought another one shortly after for our in-laws, and the entire machines were completely paid for with referrals, and then, um, oh, by the way, it's not really an unboxing because I had to redo the video, but I'm going to pretend that I'm opening it for the first time. I basically just had to put everything back because for some reason something went wrong with my video camera, and so it didn't record, but anyway. Um, so this is our third machine, which is going to become a loner, but I just want to show you what is in the box when you first open it up. Um, I'm so excited about this. Oh my god, I was so excited when the UPS guy came. So I'm just going to sort of pretend that I'm opening it up again. I know that's like an exciting part of when you first get something. Um, and so this is basically what's in the box when you first open it. So um, it is, it comes with the receipt. I'm going to have all my husband's personal information on here, so I'm going to hold it a little far away. But basically, um, it has your the receipt, your order form, and the return policy. And while I just happen to be making this video, I want to point out that the return policy, it says here very clearly what the return policy is. I may have to reverse this video so it's not backwards, but um, there I've seen online, there are literally some companies that in order to try to sell their machines, they make stuff up ad nauseum about Enagic, it's truly unbelievable. I've never ever been in a business where I've seen so much made up stuff about a company and this is a, a classic example of it. And I wanted to show you proof that what they say is not true. I've seen them say the restocking fee is like $800 or something like that. It's so not true. It says that right here. I mean, they make you sign something saying that yes, you understand what the return policy is before you purchase the machine. And uh, so you can see right here, the return policy is three hundred and eighty dollars. It's three hundred and eighty dollars um, if you use it for thirty days. That is a really, you guys, that is a crazy, crazy good deal. It's three eighty if you use the machine for a whole month. And then for some reason you choose not to keep it, you can return it for $380. I don't know if you guys realize what a killer crazy good deal that is. This is certified medical equipment. This is ISO 13485 certified medical equipment. It is used by doctors. It's used by, it's, it's recommended by 6,500 doctors in Japan. And, um, you know, it's ISO, ISO certified to be used in hospitals around the world. So it's a big deal. Generally, you can't return medical equipment for $380. So it's almost, I mean, you can't even rent a machine like this for under 400 bucks. So anyway, and we also give a, a personal guarantee. We say to people, look, just use it for four weeks, fill out a form, and if for some reason uh, it's not working for you, you can return it, and we will pay your restocking fee. Nobody who has drank the water has taken us up on that. Okay, so I'm just letting you know, and I've been selling these for two years, so it's a good deal. I, I think it's a crazy, crazy good deal. By the way, Years ago, <laughs> I made a video about the Nutribullet, and I thought that was the best appliance ever at the time, which it was. Um, but then when I found out about this thing, I went nuts, just totally, totally nuts. And I'm going to make another video about that another time, um, why I flipped for this machine. But it's been two years that I've been selling these babies and talking about them, and I love this thing. It is truly the best investment we have ever made. So, so let me show you what's in the box. Um, so this is the receipt and stuff. Put this over here, and then it comes with these drops. These are um, uh, pH drops. So you put this in the water, and it'll show you what the pH is. And 
This is a packet that has the information in it. Let's see, so you can see some brochures, how to use Kangen Wire. Nice. All this cool stuff. Oops. Yep. Very cool. Why is cleaning necessary? Oh, that's awesome. They, you, guys, they did not have this when I first bought a machine. Okay, I'm just letting you know. I love this. This is very, this makes it easy. Um, and a pH chart. At least, I don't remember ever seeing this. I gotta admit, maybe they had it. I don't think so. I'm pretty, almost positive this is new and that this is new as well. Um, here's a pH color chart. I'll show you what the pH of your water is when you test it. Um, and this is about the compensation plan. Um, this is about the web system that uh, Enagic users use to try out or to market the, the machines and the business. Truly the best business I have ever been involved with. Um, and this is a flyer about the Ucon. It's this crazy, crazy good anti-inflammatory turmeric supplement. I'm a huge fan of turmeric. I've got this. And I actually have been giving people um, a free box of the turmeric because I have quite a bit right now. This is just while supplies last, but um, I've been doing that for people lately. And then this is a sample form if you, um, well, I can send you, if you choose to do this as a business, um, this is basically, they're just letting you know, you know, what it looks like if you want to do it as a business and um, how you would fill out um, the paperwork and stuff. This is awesome. I'm telling you guys, this did not come with my machine, okay? Like, I've only been in the business for two years, but I'm so impressed that they did this. Love it. They're just making things easier and easier. God, that's a magic, man. I love this company. I truly have never, I have, n I've had jobs that I like. Definitely jobs that I really like a lot, but I've also had jobs I've hated, hated and but this is truly the first job that I've ever had where I found myself saying out loud, I love my job. And so just if anybody ever wants to do it as a business, I would love to tell you how. How I do it and how you can do it too. Okay, so this is the machine, what it looks like. I'm gonna open this baby up. And I do recommend that you save the box for whatever reason, in case you have to travel or ship it or whatever. Um, it's good to keep the stuff in the box, in both boxes, just in case. I'm a total box saver. I save everything, okay? So I know it's a bad habit. Okay, so this is what comes in. And Okay. Oh, this is so cool. It's so I just love it when companies make everything fit perfectly. My husband is a packaging designer and his job is to like what he does is people give him stuff and he figures out how to package everything exactly and like super efficiently. He's been doing it for over 20 years. He is truly the best in the business. So if you ever need a box man, a box maker, you let me know and I will get you in touch with him. He is, I'm not kidding. I'm not just saying it's because because he's my husband. He is really the best. So anyway, um, so it comes with a manual. I just love how they packaged everything so perfectly. Um, so here's the manual for the SD501 Platinum. It's probably for the regular SD1 as well. Oh no, it's for the Platinum. Oh yeah, I guess it has to be because it's a little bit different. Um, it has a few more languages and stuff, but here's the manual, and this, oh cool, like a quick guide that you can keep by the machine. We do have one of these at home. You just kind of keep it in the back of the machine or like on the side. So cool, this is definitely new too. Oh my God, I love this. This is awesome. Oh my God, Enagic, you guys are so awesome. I love how you've made these just 
advancements. It was cool already when I bought my machine, but it's even cooler now. Okay, and it shows how to make the different types of water, like the kage water, the beauty water, the strong acidic water, and the clean water. Oh my god, this, these are amazing. I'm going to do another video about those as well. Okay, so this is also um, pH strips for you to test the water. There's two different ways you can test it, either the drops or the pH strips. And here's a bunch of different adapters. I don't think we're going to be using any of these because we're actually going to do a setup. Um, I'm going to try and film it, but honestly, I'm probably not going to be the best person to do this. I might have to call um, a guy to do the plumbing under the sink, but we're actually going to add this attachment um, to the sink so that we can have it like sitting on the sink and coming out of a separate water drinking spout. But um, anyway, it's, these are very easy to set up in general. Um, we have like one of these faucet heads. I'll just show you. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, I'll show it later on. I'm scared to tilt the machine because I feel like I'm not going to be able to get it back right away. But um, we have the type of faucet head where it doesn't, I don't think that it'll work with um, an attachment. Some of these, I'll just show you here. It's one of these spray head babies. Um, I could be wrong. I have seen sometimes you can get that to work, but I don't, I think this is one of those types where you need a separate adapter that you put on here and it's about maybe like 40 bucks. Um, but that's not going to matter because we learned like a year after we had the machine, we finally, um, ended up um, hiring a friend of a friend who's a plumber. He was awesome. He helped us to put this attachment on and it just made, it was so awesome to have a separate dedicated faucet. That way we could run the water at the same time as uh, we were getting the, um, the, uh, the kage water. Um, and you wouldn't think that that would be a big deal, but there are so many times where I've found myself like, you know, when you're waiting for a water jug to fill up or something and you want to do some dishes or whatever, it's really nice to be able to do two things at the same time. I'm all about doing two or three things at the same time. So, um, I really like that feature a lot. So anyway, um, okay. So these are just attachments and then this is, uh, this is a little, uh, adapter that you would normally hook up to this, but, um, we're not going to do that. So this may just be an extra piece. I wish there was a way that this could be used somehow because it seems like a waste. I feel like sending it back to an addict saying, do you want this back? Because we don't need it. Like, I'm all about recycling. Okay. And then this, we're not really going to need this either. This is what we would need if we did the standard attachment. Oh no, wait, sorry. No, 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 no. I'm completely wrong. You do need this. This is for the acidic water. Sorry. Take that back. Um, <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself here. Okay. So this actually sticks to the side. I'll just open it real quick. What was I thinking? I was just thinking plastic parts. No, we don't need that, but yes, we do. Okay. So what this does is the strong acidic water goes into this hose or comes out of this hose. Um, like the 2.5 pH water comes out of here and it has kind of a strong bleach smell, but it is not like bleach. I am extremely sensitive to bleach. I cannot stand the smell of bleach. I hate it when I go into a restaurant and they're cleaning and I can smell bleach. I can guarantee, I can assure you, this is not bleach bleach. It's like if you spray it into the air, it doesn't smell like bleach anymore, which is why it's awesome for restaurants. Um, but anyway, so this is, I'm just going to put that over here. This is, so I'll just show you. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so it sticks like this. Okay. And then the water comes out but it's gonna, the hose is gonna go over here, okay. And then this is the electrolysis enhancer, which by the way, I just wanna do another debunking as long as I'm doing this video. If you're interested in conget water, I can almost guarantee that if you've been doing your research, you've gone online and you've seen there are these companies that are so desperate to sell their machines that they think nothing of, well, not that they're desperate, but they, I don't know how they get their morals, but they truly like literally make stuff up and they tr they have figured out that a really easy way to scare people from getting hung in water is to make them think that this is some really scary, dangerous chemical. And it's not, I have to admit, I hate admitting this, but it actually worked on me. I actually thought, oh my God, this is the scary, dangerous chemical. And I refused 
to put this in the machine at all the first um, few months that we had. It actually was like the first five or six months. I refused to put this in the machine. I was scared. Oh my God, I don't really want to be, you know, having these chemicals in the water. And then I found out, guys, this is like a salt solution, okay? When you run out of this, the way that you make more is you order salt from the company. There's a woman who speaks Chinese who could read Japanese, and I asked her, can you tell me what this bag of salt says? And she said, yes, it means that you can eat it. <laughs> or it's, what it says is you can eat this. This is for cooking purposes. And I was like, okay, thank you. I have to find that video. Her name is Joanne. She's awesome. These two words is means you can eat. This this word in Chinese is eat. You can eat this kind of salt. This salt can eat. You can cook dinner, and they they even say in here, you can use it every day. Even though this is Ch uh, Japanese, but they, this is Chinese. Every day you can use it. That three words is every day you can use it. I'm just letting you know, this is not a scary chemical, okay? I think it's pretty cool that they just wanted to take precautions. They're basically saying, yeah, if you were to stick your nose up, you know, next to the bleachy smell and just inhale it and be like in a very small enclosed room with this bleachy stuff, then yeah, maybe that would affect you. But it doesn't affect you if you're in a normal, well-ventilated room. I've never even come close to having any kind of bad reaction from this stuff. As a matter of fact, I hope I don't get in trouble for this. If, if I do, I, I will delete or edit this video, but I have actually drank this stuff, okay? Um, I am not saying that you should do that. Do not drink this stuff, okay? I just feel like I have to give that warning. Um, I did it because I heard other people had done it to get rid of food poisoning. And I knew somebody, a close friend, whose husband, he said his food poisoning went away like in like a day or two. And so when I kind of had food poisoning, I decided, heck, I'm going to drink it. Didn't feel, I was kind of scared to do it because it smelled like bleach, but I did it. And I am absolutely not saying that anybody else should do it, okay? It is not, it is, it will say in this manual, don't drink it. You know, it's like, I'm not telling you to do it. I am just saying it to tell you that it's not the scary, scary chemical that people say it is. The pH of this is, it's actually less than Pepsi, okay? So it's like two point, this is 2.5 and Pepsi I think is 2.4 it was 2.4 something, I don't know, that's what I'd seen. Um, and so, you know, it's just, I just want to debunk the myths because I feel like a lot of people who really, really need this medical grade water tend to be scared and swayed by these, this misinformation that's online. And it's not, you know, I've put the stuff in my eye. Okay, so anyway, sorry, this is getting really long. People get annoyed when my stuff gets really long. More packaging. Okay, so this is it. Oy. Oh, this is a beauty. Okay, oh, by the way, this is so stupid, but just because I'm so anal. Oh, there's that CD in here. I didn't even see that the bottom of the box and what's this? Okay. oh instruction manual okay pretty cool all right so this is a c501 platinum so for anyone who does not know what this machine is i'm sure you know by now if you've tuned in this long but this 
machine basically makes super, super, super potent antioxidant water. And the reason that people need antioxidants, basically the reason we age is because um, we're constantly oxidizing. Every time we breathe in oxygen, we are oxidizing. That's why that, you know, you'll see a rock can look the same for you know, 100 years, but people age um, because we react with oxygen. And uh, you know, even though we need oxygen to survive, it's actually slowly killing us. But this helps with that process. It neutralizes free radicals. Um, it donates hydrogen to your body. And uh, it keeps you, I'm not saying it stops you from aging or keeps you from aging. It uh, basically can neutralize free radicals, which uh, it appears that that slows down the aging process. Okay. You know, just to be on the safe side, I think I'm going to stop this video because I don't know why the other one shut off, but I'm going to stop it just so that this is, that it actually saves uh, and then I'll start recording again because I'm scared to lose the entire thing because I really don't want to put this all back in the box and have to start again from scratch. So let me stop it now.